Hey friends. Okay. Let's talk about content creation. I can't tell you how many people think that they've got their content nailed. They know exactly what they want to talk about. And then they go to write it down and they get really overwhelmed and anxious about it because you haven't outlined what you want to talk about. And I'm pretty sure that we all learn <laughs> in grade school, you got to outline a paper before you write it, right? And it's the same thing with any content you put out. You have to outline it before you can really produce it to the way that it's going to really benefit you and your audience. So today I wanna to tell you about what I do with clients and what I practice with clients so that they can get really clear when they're creating their content. Because when you create content, if you really want to expand in it and repurpose it later, you have to be very strategic about it. And when I say strategic, what I mean is you have to be really clear. <laughs> and to do that, to be able to, because what I do, so I take your piece of content, I expand on it for you, I help you repurpose it, and then I show you how to integrate all of that into social media. This is what I do. That is the social cycle, right? So once the content is there, my job, I take over, is a lot simpler. So what I try to help uh, coaches do is show them how to get the content to a place where when you hand it off to somebody, it's got all the elements that that person needs in order to move more pieces into it, take pieces out and highlight them, but also understand how to repurpose it for a later time as well. So I want to go over these uh, outlining uh, brainstorm uh, things that I do. Um, processes, I guess you could call them. Um, and what it is, is that it's called a bubble brainstorm. Um, and it's exactly, <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Okay, so grab your piece of paper or your notebook, grab a pen, and let's do this together. So I want you to make a big circle in the middle of your piece of paper. And I want you to put your topic right there. So what it is do you wanna talk about this week? What do you wanna talk about in your blog, in your newsletter? What do you wanna talk about in this program? Whatever it is that you're trying to conceptualize, do this and it will help you really create a fluidity between the words. Okay, then you're gonna make some spider legs. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're gonna make more bubbles. I used to do this with my sister. It's called the bubble brainstorm, just like this and it looks like a little like DNA cell thing, but really what it is is we're just outlining what we're gonna talk about in a little bit more fun way, okay? So then you're gonna put um, who, what, why, and how. Just like this, okay? Let's talk about the who first. Who are you talking to? Who is your avatar? Who's your ideal person? Who is the, um, who's at the center of this topic? Who will benefit from this topic the most? Is it a corporate woman that's running around busy? Is it a busy mom who needs to those tricks, tips, and hacks to help make life a little easier? Or is it that, you know, single person hanging out at home with no kids and they're just in a slump, right? So you have a variety of people you could be talking to. So let's get a little bit clearer on who you want to talk to, okay? So write down exactly, so if your topic is weight loss, we'll just say. See, I put it in the little topic, but weight loss. Um, let's say for this exercise, you think of your person, I'm going to think of mine. I'm going to say, let's talk to um, busy mom. And um, she's uh, 
So put down your topic. I'm going to do weight loss right here. Okay. Then your who. I put down busy mom. Just for the sake of this, let's do that. Okay. Then I want you to dive into busy mom or whoever it is that you're talking to um, a little bit more. Is busy mom, does she have girls, boys? Is it mixed pack? Um, does she, is she on the go a lot? Is she quarantined at home? Is she married? Um, what is her um, cooking skill? Is she a uh, throw some, you know, chicken McNuggets in the oven with tater tots and serves dinner? Or is she a uh, poached salmon with rice pilaf kind of cooker? Um, those are all things that you can look to in this person um, because it's gonna help later on when you're creating your content to know, oh, well, this person, they love to cook dinner. They Dinner time is a meeting time for family for this person. So I'm going to insert a really nice family-friendly recipe, okay? So that's going to be your who. What's going to make them happy? Because that's part of your content. What's going to be their struggle? That's part of your content. Okay, then we're going to talk about the what. So what is your intention with this blog? Um, what is the goal? What do you want your reader to pull from in this blog, right? So this is where you can address some of the pain points. This is where you can address some of the struggles that they're having. So if it's a busy mom and she's trying to lose weight, maybe um, the what of this blog is um, a uh, recipe, a 30 minute recipe, and a um, let's think here. 30 minute recipe and a um, inspiration for a, a savory dessert, right? So maybe the topic is weight loss and you're talking to, um, you know, Susie Jane and Susie Jane likes cooking but she's crunched for time. So you're gonna give her a recipe that's a 30 minute recipe or less, but you're also gonna give her as a bonus, you're going to give her a really awesome savory dessert treat because she still likes her sweets. And this is one of her pain points. She still wants her evening treats, but she wants to lose the weight. So what's an alternative? What is something she can still get that sweet tooth craving but it's also nourishing her body as well. So that's gonna be um, the intention of this blog is to give her those two things and to satisfy that pain point of time crunch for dinner and curbing that sweet tooth that she gets at eight, nine o'clock at night, okay? Then your why. Why is this important? Why does this person need to learn more? So this is the part where you tie in your uh, topic alongside um, the problem and your solution, okay? So give them an understanding of how to integrate on a daily basis what weight loss looks like in a practical manner for them, all right? So um, then you're going to tell them how, right? So your how is what you have to offer. How are you going to solve their problem? How are you going to uh, give them what they're trying to accomplish? How are you going to support them in their goal? This is where you and your expertise gets to shine, right? So this is where you can become relatable. This is where you can say, I know how you feel. Uh, because I am also or was also a busy mom, had the evening crunch, um, you know, slump where I couldn't get it all done in three hours. So I created these recipes um, for you because I get it, right? 
And you can also talk about how having that craving at eight or nine o'clock is perfectly normal because guess what? That's the time mamas that we get after everyone's gone to bed to just relax. And that is an indulgence for us. That's something that we do to nourish ourselves, even though we know it's not super awesome or good for our body. So by giving them an alternative to the processed sugar and saying, you know what? I still want to give you that sweet treat. I still want to give you that evening indulgence, but we're going to change it up a little bit and we're going to make it so it is really nourishing your body, right? It gives you that satisfaction, but it's also doing something to help you lose your weight, promote your health and keep that momentum going that you've already created. Okay, so that's your how. That's how you're going to accomplish what you've set out to do by using this trick or hack or recipe or following these guidelines or whatever it is that the, that the topic of your blog is, okay? Then you've got your call to action, right? So you've created, so then you have your call to action. So then you funnel it down, right? So then you put it just a little like line and call to action. So your call to action might be something along the lines of download this for more family friendly 30 minute recipes. Your um, call to action might be uh, set up a discovery call with me to find out how else I can support you. Uh, call to action might be join uh, my Facebook group, my free Facebook group, because I'm always in there offering support to all the mamas. Or maybe, um, you know, you do live QAs and you tell this person, hey, if you have questions, I'm here for you. Join us for the upcoming live QA. It's in this Facebook group at this time. And your call to action is the link to join, okay? Bottom line is you want your reader to go somewhere. You want them to take action. And in order for them to take action, you have to tell them where to go and tell them what to do, right? That's just the way it is. Um, and then the final is going to be how you're going to deliver it. So you've created this gift. It's all ready to go. It's wrapped. It just needs the pretty bow on top. So what is your method of delivery? Is it going to be a blog? Is it going to be a newsletter? Is it going to be a post? Is it going to be a video that you're sharing? Um, these are all things that you have to think about. <clears throat> Within the social cycle, I show you how to do all of it. I show you how to take this piece of content and create the blog, create the newsletter, create the posts, create the video, and create pins going all back to it. Um, the other thing you could think about is if this content is gonna be a bigger piece. So maybe you're talking more about like a program. Are you gonna deliver this um, as a webinar? Are you delivering it as a workshop? Maybe it's a outline for setup on like one-on-one. -on -one. So that's when I say delivery, mode of delivery, that's what I mean. So you have to think about how are you going to put the bow on? What's the color? Um, all that, all those little things, right? Because now that you've got the whole entire piece ready to go, you just got to get it out to your people, right? Um, so this is meant to help give you structure um, and outline what it is that you need to do to sit down and really write that piece of content with knowledge, awareness, and like I said, purpose and intention. Um, once you have all this, it's a lot easier to connect the dots and put it together. And you'll see if you spend 10 minutes on this, when you go to create the blog, it will be a lot easier. Um, even if you have done for you content, so maybe you buy blogs that are pre-written for you and you just kind of pick out ones that seem right. When you create this outline, go through them and see if you have one that is similar to this because you can most certainly take that information from that outline and just, you know, plug it into the pre-written blog and really customize it to your person. But the whole structure and foundation is already laid, so it saves you even more time. But if you are one who really likes to write your own stuff, which is absolutely fine as well, uh, then follow this and let me know if this helps. 
Um, how does it um, benefit you when you sit down to really write the piece that you're writing? I know that I've worked on this with a few people independently and in groups, and they have said that breaking it down has really helped and it gives them a lot of motion forward as they're writing because they're already in that zone of knowing what that person wants to hear. Um, so creating it is just a lot easier. So again, don't get flustered, don't get stressed, don't get overwhelmed when it comes to creating your content. Just take a step back and realize who you're writing it for and what what's the purpose of it? Why is this important for your person to read? And then make sure that you give them a place to go after they're done, right? Um, don't miss out on an opportunity to work with them. Don't miss, don't let them miss out on an opportunity to learn more about you, right? Because that's ultimately really what you want. You want them to come back and continue reading, continue being part of your community. Um, so let me know below. Um, let me know in the comments or send me a message. I'd love to um, hear how this helps you get clear on your pieces of content and then send me them, send them to me. I would love to read them. Um, I, again, I help with, you know, expanding on content and helping to repurpose it. And if you send me what you've written using this kind of layout, I would be more than happy to offer suggestions on how to accomplish those other items. So I hope this was so helpful and I will talk to y'all soon.